Nahid Shahalimi, eine außergewöhnliche Frau. Nicht nur, weil sie mit ihrer Kunst Menschen begeistert, sondern auch wegen ihres langjährigen Engagements für das Kinderhilfswerk UNICEF. In München stellte sie Porträts einiger einflussreichen deutschen Frauen vor. This is my seventh or eighth collection. So every single collection that I have painted has been different, each one from the other one. Um, the portraits, the reason why I started portraits in the first place was because I was so bad at it. I love challenges in life. It's always, I always loved, I always say this, that I like to throw myself into cold water in order to see what happens. That's the only way that I think as, a, as an individual, as a human being, and also as an artist, you evolve to do things that, are, that you're really scared of. And I was scared most of my life to paint portraits because it's really, portraits are something that it has to look like that person, you know, and you're dealing with individuals, that characters and all of that. So I uh, once, I mean, this technique, the wax technique, I worked on it for years and years until it actually worked. And then I decided to paint Audrey Hepburn for one of my collections um, back then. To have the support of these women is really also important because, um, yes, the, initi the, the I am the initiator of this project, I am the painter of this project, and the book, by the first cover of, of the book for We the Women Germany is going to be presented tonight as well, and that's a surprise. And to have the support of these women, uh, because you cannot, you cannot do projects of this magnitude alone. So therefore I will never take the credit for it alone. There has been a great, wonderful team of PR, marketing, PAs, volunteers, um, a really great team and the women themselves who have really given me a strong backbone to do this project and without the support of all of this group, it would not be possible. So therefore um, my, my, my greatest appreciation goes to all of those people because without them, I would be nothing. Uh, first of all, it's a joy to be here. I'm firstly here as a friend of Nahid, the artist. Uh, Nahid came uh, to me five years ago when we were holding the uh, Timeless Audrey exhibit at the Hauptbahnhof in Berlin. I think it becomes a way of life, just like it did um, for my mother uh, in the last five years of her life. It became an organic part of her life, and I think because of Nahid's story, which I'm sure she will tell you. Um, her persona today is, she's an artist, she's also a refugee. She's also someone who has known that feeling of the extended hand. And all of it together comes through in this wonderful bubbly personality that is very much a part of this painting, even though the image is of, of my mother the emotion and the humanity in it is also Nahid and that's why I became to, uh, to, 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 to love this painting. The painting, exactly the story, this is how it started. A really wonderful, great relationship with, um, with somebody that, I mean, she inspired me my whole life. And you really need um, heroes and inspirations and people that you can look up to that can put a backbone, a strong backbone behind you and say, it's going to be okay, because you look at this example and you say, wow, um, she was a great mother, she was a beautiful woman, uh, she was a great humanitarian. Um, it's just the, femi the feminine side, the strength uh, beside, uh, beside that, the, the, the negative and positive side of, of the sphere, both sides, everything is in this, um, in this woman. And if, if I was to uh, give an example of a of the perfect woman if there was one I would say she would she would have been it and for me to have had the opportunity to work with Sean on so many different projects and, and, I'm, and I'm looking forward to them to the years to come to do even more from the day that we met that portrait was the reason why we met UNICEF was 
the reason why we met. And you have supported me in every single shape and way and form. Such pain and suffering Ganz unglaublich, ich muss sagen, ich bin ziemlich überwältigt. Erkennen Sie sich wieder? Ja, ich fühle mich sehr gut getroffen. Es ist ein wunderbares Gefühl, jetzt in der Reihe der uh, We the Woman Powerfrauen zu sein. Und es ist natürlich eine große Ehre, in diesem schönen Kreis dabei zu sein. Ein tolles Gefühl und uh, ich denke, mein Gott, uh, bin ich das, aber den sehe ich mich an. Und uh, ich denke, die Nahit hat mich ganz gut getroffen. Ja, das ist total typisch. Also, so ist sie, wenn sie fröhlich ist, in der Redaktionskonferenz ist sie manchmal ernster. Aber so ist sie. Große Augen, äh, neugierige Augen, strahlendes Lächeln und immer diesen bisschen schrägen Kopf. Sehr, sehr gut getroffen. Ich finde es wunderbar. Ich habe es gleich in Schwarz-Weiß nochmal in meinem Büro hängen. Und ich finde es eigentlich eine tolle Sache. Und was sie macht, ist ohnehin alles schon bewundernswert. When our mother passed away, uh, we were sure that had she gotten another five minutes, five days, five weeks, five years, she would have spoken about the children, just like it is a part of Becky's life. It was a part of her life. 